Do you wish that your dogs could speak? Well, actually they can. And all we have to do is learn how to read their lovely body language, which they use to communicate with each other and also with us humans. A wonderful lady named Ture Drugas actually defined a set of signals that our pets and other animals use with each other called calming signals. And she's actually listed out about 30 signals such as turning the head, licking the lips, freezing, sniffing the ground, engaging in behavior for no apparent reason and um, you know, showing the side of the eyes and many more such signals which is what dogs use to actually communicate, calm, calm down or that we're not a threat, even things like lifting a paw, the way that they approach each other and it is actually so fascinating to dive deep into this. In today's video, I want to show you three such calming signals that Poppins will demonstrate. A simple way to actually show you some calming signals is um, something that we all do. Uh, which is try to photograph our dogs and you'll see that every time you would have noticed that every time we actually put the phone um, you know to uh, in, in position to take our pets photos they will turn their head because it's something that actually makes them anxious so many times when we try to hug our dogs and kiss them which is behavior natural to us but definitely not to them you'll see uh, signs of calming signals like lip licking uh, freezing they'll become all rigid they will show you the side of their eyes so let me try and demonstrate that to you with Poppins. See, sniffing the ground for no reason. It doesn't mind, but look, paw raise. I hope that this is the start of a new journey for you to understand how beautifully our dogs communicate with each other and how much we can help to help them live their best lives if we can start to understand and respect the signals that they are giving us.